So. Yeah, and it's see the 30 yep. days. Okay, Maybe so you go off. ahead and sign it, George. And uh, and then it is five dollar filing fee. Oh, really? That's all it is? Oh, yeah. That's cool. I thought it'd be more than that. No, 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 no. It's set by state statute. Really. You would give that young lady there. That I probably need a receipt. Yeah. yeah. George with Dale Yeah, no, I was on the site and I was able to see the filing days and the rules and the campaign yeah, and finance. I, and oh, no, things. here's that stuff. So one thing many people in the community might not realize is the way the city charter is written is that the mayor and the city council positions are really all part-time positions and they're compensated as such. So to be mayor of Bemidji, you get paid $12,000 a year. So that's the main reason why pretty much every mayor of Bemidji has always had a second job uh, somewhere in the community. In my case, that second job will always be at Valley Industries. And so I'm really appreciative to my business partners and, 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 and my team at Valley Industries for allowing the camera to follow me through my normal work day because obviously as I'm running for mayor, I'm bouncing back and forth between the two worlds. So it's really great to be able to share that uh, with everyone. Go get him. Let's do it. But just looking at a parade, right? Like, if you've never built a float in the history of your life, how do you build a float, right? What should be on it? What does it look like? You know, those kinds of things. So just our crew and our volunteers and just everybody kind of putting that thing together, right? And, 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 and coming up with the idea and putting it all together. And then at the end of the day, you know, you're looking at your kind of ta-da moment, right? And, uh, and you're like, wow, that turned out better than I thought it was gonna turn out, right? I didn't know what to really expect. I've been to the kitty parade and everything. Um, but hadn't been too involved with the main parade. Didn't really know what to expect. I was a little nervous because some of the folks said, you know, get the, we got to get there early, we got to get the float down there, we got to be there at 6 a.m. and get in the line. I said, 6 a.m.? The thing was exhilarating. I've never been to. We had enough water and candy, I thought, to get through the whole parade and have extra. <laughs> All those <is> lie. <laughs> I thought we needed double. But we come out real excited and exhilarated. We started handing out water to people and uh, going out and shaking hands. And we got a heck of a response from the public. And I was running up and down. I got left behind quite a few times and then realized that that the, the, the uh, float had been two, three, I was two, two, three floats up, so I'd race back up, grab some more water and candy and go around and introduce, meeting people. People were exciting to, to talk with and excited to see us, and I had a great time. That's awesome. Familiar faces. A lot of familiar really faces. Yeah, the kids loved it. They're like a leveling type of experience in the sense that everybody's the same. You know, when you, when you go through, you know, your normal day in a community, there are bankers that are bankers, and there's pharmacists that are pharmacists, and there are cashiers that are cashiers, and, you know, everybody's got their role, whatever it is, right? Yeah, however, however society wants to define it, right? But anyways, at a parade, like, everybody's the same deal. And what you're seeing is people kind of like out of their element, so to speak. So like the banker is now the volunteer in the nonprofit float that's handing out candy. Looking at the parade, one of the absolute um, special things about it for me as well was that as a candidate, it was really my first public appearance and my first opportunity to really involve my family in what I'm doing in a public way. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Jim. There we go. Yay, look at him. This man you sure. <laughs> Remember that? Are you sure? Raise your hand if you're sure. In the past, you know, obviously my wife and my sons and 
have been very supportive of what I'm doing and, and obviously we had a lot of talk as a family before I ever became a candidate but this was like the first time that we were actually able to engage the city and uh, and do it together and, and hand out water together and meet people together and stuff so I had a really good time uh, just being able to share that with my wife and, and my two sons and uh, you know at the end of the day you know the, the, the parade is a period of time the election is a period of time and you know if I were to, to, to be elected mayor I'll, I'll be mayor for a period of time but I know that the things that I'm doing right now as far as my kids go I'm planting those seeds in their life for the rest of their for the rest of their life so to have an opportunity to, to just kind of share all this with them I know our, our seeds that are gonna be um, in their life for a long time so it's, it's about you know doing it as a family but also um, you know, doing it the right way so that, you know, they're, they're able to take, you know, good lessons from this too. You know, being able to do an event with the 4th of July was also really special for me because what many people might not know is that I'm actually a first generation immigrant and I've been a United States citizen for about 27 years. So the 4th of July is kind of a special holiday for me because it's really all about independence and establishing the United States as a country. And really it's about opportunities, you know, creating opportunities for people. And so from my standpoint, I definitely know that my life is dramatically better because I'm a U.S. citizen and because I grew up in the United States and because I was able to, to go to school and just do all the things I've been able to do in my life. So to be able to go out, share that event with my family, share it with the people of Bemidji, run for mayor, celebrate the holiday, you know, be there with my team, be there with LaValle, be there with Jason, the, the whole thing you know, is really special. And, uh, it's definitely something I'm always going to remember for the rest of my life. Why would I want to run for mayor of Bemidji? Why do I want to be mayor of Bemidji? The first and foremost is that for many, many years, I've always been troubled by our local economy. Um, we have had a real struggle creating jobs that pay a living wage. So comparatively, if you look at some of the median income numbers, you know, you're looking at you know, thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars a year as the median family income here locally, and you look at the median family income in the state, and it's you know twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand dollars more per year. I mean, it's significant. And so when I look at those numbers, and you know, those numbers have held true for quite some time. They didn't just get that way. Um, I sometimes look around and go, how does a, how does a person make it on that kind of money? How does a person, you know, be able to eat? have a home, uh, raise their children, send their kids to college, have some retirement, and hey, maybe occasionally take a, take a vacation trip somewhere. How does that happen? You know, uh, and I think in many cases it doesn't. I think in many cases people really are struggling to make ends meet. And for me, uh, over the last five years as we've built LaValle Industries, it's become really apparent to me to a certain extent why our community struggles that way. We've been so heavily built on tourism, education, and government that we really haven't spent much time focusing on building industry and technology-based businesses in our community. And it's created a large hole, which really has created a disparity in, in living wages, especially when you look at some of the places we used to have. You know, When you look back when we had New Ply, when we had Potlatch running at full bore, when we had Ainsworth, when we had these types of businesses, you, even Corecraft, you look at some of these places, when those jobs have gone away as the forest industry has died and things have changed, we've lost hundreds of jobs that used to pay, you know, very, um, very livable wages. And when you look and see, well, have they been replaced with like kind, I would submit to you that they haven't been. Um, so one of my major concerns and one of the major reasons why I'm running is I really think that we need to have a five-year plan for how we are going to grow our local economy. Uh, and when I say we, I mean everyone uh, that's a part of our community. So yesterday, we started off the day by visiting uh, with our four elected state legislators at the uh, legislative wrap-up that was hosted by the Bemidji Chamber of Commerce uh, yesterday morning at 7.30. And, uh, you know, I'm always appreciative of the legislators taking time to come into the community, answer questions, those types of things, because, you know, it's a pretty busy schedule they leave uh, and lives that they lead, so it's difficult sometimes to 
to be able to get to all the points that you want to get to. And I was also appreciative of the Chamber of Commerce for hosting the event. The second event that we went to was the Chamber of Commerce uh, Awards, for, uh, Business Awards for Excellence. And that is uh, in its 10th year now. Um, I've been involved with it probably for about eight years. The last five years uh, through the Valley Bay Industries, we've been a sponsor. And the, the biggest reason we've been a sponsor and have supported that program is because, you know, every year people work very hard in their businesses, both as owners, employers, and employees, uh, to make those businesses successful. And usually people are so involved, so busy in their work that they don't often get a chance to celebrate when they do good work or when amazing things happen. Because um, regrettably businesses so often, what have you done for me lately, uh, type of world. So. The uh, business uh, awards that the Chamber hosts annually is an opportunity for us to reflect, to recognize those people in our community that have done exceptional work uh, and, and to recognize them publicly. And there's also an aspect of it um, through the, the, the Charlie and Ada Lifetime Achievement Award where we recognize those people in our community who over their lifetime have made significant contributions to Bemidji. Um, so as a sponsor, we've always felt it's been worthwhile, we've always wanted to invest in it, and we've always done it. Uh, so this specific year, um, we, as in the past five years, have sponsored the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. And um, that wasn't an award that we just picked out of a hat. We were very, uh, very deliberate about wanting to sponsor that award. Here to present Entrepreneur of the Year is George Prince of uh, La Valley Industries as our presenting sponsor for Entrepreneur of the Year. George. Because we believe here at La Valley Industries that Entrepreneurship is the core of economic development in many ways. It's people with ideas that then turn those ideas into products and businesses which then in turn create jobs. Please join me in congratulating Tammy Shosko of We Love Messages. <laughs> next time on See George Run. What you guys put out for us, right, in order to make these things happen. I can tell you firsthand, our community is comprised put of- Put an awful lot of pressure on you guys. Because of all the mud we throw on the wall, but it's the mud that we throw on the wall where we get to meet these opportunities that gets us a job that keeps us alive and keeps us thriving and keeps us growing. I've seen so much infighting, especially over the last couple of years between the townships and, and the I city. We, we just received that contract, we got a huge PO. Right there. Uh, that's the you know, one for us, like I say, it's a good guarantee next two years for sure that that's going to help us thrive. I learned a long time ago that the minute there's a lawsuit, the minute that there's an attorney involved in these types of situations, there are no longer any winners. There's just degrees of losers. <laughs> that's all there is. So we talk about partnerships with leverage, we're trying to find them. <laughs> <laughs> that's so right, the sham wow. Wouldn't that be awesome to make a living, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and all you do is pitch the sham wow? That's like your life, or the Snuggie, or whatever that thing was. <laughs>